Hello, LP Brown artists. Welcome back. This week, our prize winners are Katarine T. in Mr. Hazel's class and Jameson S. in Miss Russell's class. Congratulations, you two. You will get some extra art supplies and supply pickup this week. Today, we are going to learn about line and use different types of lines to add pattern to conga drums. We're also going to learn about texture and use materials to make the surface of a drum head look and feel like a real conga drum. Last week, we went from Olympia all the way to the Caribbean, to the island of Aruba, and talked about flamingos. Now we're going from Aruba to a different Caribbean island, Cuba, the biggest island in the Caribbean. Here's Cuba right there. You might know one of the cities, Havana. Havana, Unana. So I have this video. It's kind of a silly one, but it shows off the culture of Cuba and the music. So you can watch that in your Schoology art folder. Today, we are going to be making our own conga drums. And conga drums are musical instruments in the percussion family. They came from Africa, the Congo, but became famous when they were used in Cuban music. We call it Afro-Cuban music. Um, traditional conga drums are made from wood. It started out with big wood barrels with animal skin over it. Now, over time, it's evolved and people use different materials. You can hear conga drums in Latin music, salsa, Cuban jazz, and rumba. I have a video of someone in Cuba using the conga drums, so you can watch that one to get a, an idea of what the drums are like. Hello. So check out our project this week. It is a conga drum. This project does have quite a few steps. So if you feel frustrated or it's too much, do not worry about it. You can make it your own. So you could draw the conga drum on a piece of paper and follow along. You can just make it work, whatever works for you and whatever supplies you have handy. I hope you have fun. To start out my Congo drum, I'm going to use a piece of paper that was left over from my puppet kit. It has a fun color on it. You can use colored paper or paper that you've painted or just plain white paper works too. I'm going to flip it over and draw some lines to help guide my cutting. At the top of my paper, I'm going to draw a big smile line, curved line, from here to here. Next, I'm going to move down to the bottom of my paper and find one corner about three fingers over, draw a line, and then the other corner three fingers over, draw a line. Now draw a line connecting this to the top here. Next up, I am going to cut out my drum. And I do want the bottom part to be skinnier than the top part, so I might angle it even more as I'm cutting. Now I have my drum shape. If yours doesn't look just like mine, that is totally fine. It, the drums can come in different shapes and sizes. It works whatever way it looks. Um, so what I'm going to do next is draw some curved lines using whatever drawing supply you want. And this curved line is going to make it look like maybe this drum is round and not flat. It gives it some form. Then between each line, I'm going to fill it up with some designs and shapes, pictures, whatever you want.
Now that my drum base is finished, it's now time to create the drum head. So conga drum heads are typically made from the skin of a cow or water buffalo, and some have synthetic or man-made skin. We don't have that, of course, so we are going to use other materials. So on your material list, you may use white paper like me. You can experiment with wax paper, parchment paper, paper towel, whatever you want to try to give it that drum texture, the like a cowhide. All right, so I'm gonna take my drum here and line it up under, put the white paper underneath, and I'm going to draw like a curved shape here to make it look like the top of a drum. So, starting at the edge there. And I'm gonna be gluing it underneath so I'll want to leave a little bit and cut right there. So I'm gonna cut like a squashed oval shape. This might take a couple tries to make it fit just right, but don't give up. I know I did it a couple times before this and it just didn't turn out right, but once you get it, it works. So you want it curved. doesn't matter if it's crooked because a lot of it will be covered by the drum. Let's see how it worked. Nice. It works. You'll see I have a little white hanging, hanging off there, so I'll give that a little haircut and it fits. So, first I'll trim off that extra edge. Now it's time to create the texture. The first thing I'll want to do is add some brown. Give it that brown drum head color. I'm going to use watercolors. You use whatever you want. I'm just going to make it kind of like splotchy brown. Nice, and I'm not going to get it too wet because I will be gluing it soon. You can get yours more wet if you're just going to let it dry. Now to create the texture, I'm going to crumple my paper into a ball. Then open it up, and then crumple it again, and open it up carefully without ripping it. Ooh, there's the texture. Now let's see how that looks. Very nice. So the next step, I'm going to flip it over. And get some glue on the back of the drum base at the tippy top. I'm going to get some glue on there. Zoop. And I'm going to stick my drum head on, flip it over to make sure that it looks right. Ta-da! There it is! I have my conga drum. Now you have a few options. You can leave it that way, or if you have some fun paper and you want to glue it onto a paper background to give it kind of a frame. That works, or just leave it this way and you can practice your drumming. I hope you had a lot of fun. This was a little tricky, so I hope that you didn't get frustrated. You do whatever parts that you can do of this project. If some of it doesn't work for you, you just change it. Change it up, make it your own. Make sure you share your conga drums on Schoology. I can't wait to see them.